which, as the name suggests, is incredibly super. <laughs> it's the best armor in the game. It boosts all your stats by a pretty good amount. And it's really hard to get, obviously, as jumping 100 times in a row is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Thankfully, there's a guide on game FAQs that explains in detail how to jump pretty decently. And with enough practice, you might just get it. I'm going to try it once I find the right enemy here. Got to find one that's in the right spot of the screen, because you don't want it to be too high. If you want it to be right about where that bob was, but that guy was a little small. Going to take out these Berthas here. One. Ha, you missed. Twenty-five. And there's two. Bang. One down. And Mario gets a defense up. One. Bang. Two. And for the last one. It's gone. Okay. Alright. What do we got this time? Dry bones. How nice. Well, this will be easy. These ones are called Yomers. Okay. You can mash Y repeatedly. And even though it's a single target spell, the fire jumps to, tar to each enemy. And since Dry Bones just have to hit, get hit with a magic attack, no matter what it is, they'll go down no matter what you hit them with. How hard you hit them. And this time we got these guys. And the little star dudes. Magmar and Pulsars. One down. Ooh, unlucky. Let's try again. Er, I'm sorry, those, th those brown guys are Magmas. Wow, I'm double lucky. Uh-oh. Valor up. Not more defense. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Well, Princess didn't hit it that hard. But that works. Triple lucky. Holy crap. Unfortunately, it doesn't stack. So it still just counts as one lucky. Sure, why not? Okay, let's see. Where is he? Darn. Sometimes I can tell right where he goes, and other times I can't. That was one of the other times. Let's see. This could be it. Perfect. Alright. Chester. Here we go. Let's see how many times I can do it. I'm gonna really concentrate, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second here. Five, six, seven, eight... Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. A hundred! Holy crap! One oh three! Oh my god! I cannot believe I just did that! See what that guide can do? <laughs> wow! Now take, yep, the drill claw. Bowser's hard-earned ultimate weapon. Which puts his attack up by 10. Not much, but it's the best weapon you can get. Alright, now, let's try... Hmm, let's try number 4. Here we go. First action room. Now, each time they jump, it illuminates the path. And there, there are several chests in here, and one of them has a rock candy. 
which is what I'm trying to find. It wasn't that one. There we go. Ah, crud. That was good. Thankfully, start right where you left off. Fright bomb. Don't need that. Okay, now jump again. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Good. Ice bomb. Don't need that. You could fight him, but then you won't have anybody to guide your path. So that's kind of pointless. Here we go. There it is. Uh, now I gotta get rid of Sleepy Bomb. That works. Come on. Just gonna make this jump here. Crud. That was really good. <laughs> okay, one more time. There we go. Now, we're gonna try here. Moving platforms. When you jump, they stop, which makes it a little easier to land with uh, your jumps. But you still gotta get the right angle and make sure you jump the right way. Ooh, red essence. That works. Gonna get rid of that. Yeah, that fright bomb. Hmm. Where will I? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Jump over again. And flower. That helps. What do we got over here? Oh well. Now in this stage, it's uh, sort of paying homage to the original Donkey Kong. As we have a Kong up here throwing barrels at us, and Mario gets to the top and he runs away. And at the end, we have... A super slap, which would be a stronger weapon for Princess, but since she has the frying pan, she doesn't need it. And now here we have the first of the quiz stages. And this first stage, he's going to ask me a series of questions, and answering them makes me go higher. He has 15 questions, I have to ask, answer 8 of them right to make it to the top, as I just missed that one. What does Birdo come out of? An eggshell. What's the first one you see in the pipe fold? How about... No, it wasn't a Goomba. The color of the curtains in Mario's house? Those are blue. How long have the couple been inside the chapel been waiting for the wedding? 30 minutes. Where was the first star piece found? Mushroom Kingdom. Who's the leader of the Axum Rangers? Red. Who helped you at the cliff at Land's End? That would be the Sky Troopers. What's the full name of the boss on the sunken ship? Jonathan Jones. What color is the end of Dodo's beak? Red. Where was the third star piece found? Mulville. And that's it. Easy questions, if you just remember the beginning of the game. And now here, this is a pretty fun game. We're counting barrels. He gives you ten seconds to stare at the barrels, and the lights go out. First, he resets them. Now, the trick to this, it's pretty simple here. You see how the... I'm using my mouse here. You see how you got three barrels here? Well, there's going to be three barrels next to it as well. So you just add those up, and then you add the rest up. And there were 14 there. Ran out of time explaining. But yeah. As many barrels as it come, it's, You count up one row of barrels. And then you can e easily tell there's that many barrels next to it. So we get 4. 4. And 4. That's 12. There's 12 below it as well since it's the same amount. 24. And there's one less than that. So that's 35. Plus 4 is 39. 1 is 40. And 5 more makes 45. And that's how it's done. Ding. And with that, the counting stage is done. And then we have this. This is the hardest one of, the, of his uh, challenges. Each one of the... Boo, Goo, Co Bones, and Kip here competed in a triathlon. And the triathlon included swimming, cycling, and a marathon. Now, they're each going to tell me a part of their story, and I have to guess... I have to figure out what order they came in. Boo here... Outrode Goo on his bike, and Goo was never able to pass him. Goo fell in the fourth during the bike race, but finally ended up in the same place as the swimming event. Bones came in third in swimming, and Kip placed the same in the cycling and swimming events, but came in second in the last two. I think I got it. I'm gonna say it was Boo, Goo, Kip, and then Bones. Yes, I was. Yeah! I hate those questions. 
And there we have another rock candy. That's the one I was looking for in the other room. Dish that honey syrup. Now one more to go. And we're going to do the other quiz room. It's the fastest and most fun. And this time we're playing a game of 21. There's 21 coins in the box. And the object is to make the other person take the last one out. You can take up to five out at a time. Eight. Ten. There's ten left. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. And there he takes the 21st. It's really easy once you get the number pattern down. And this is really fun too. All the buttons are up, but you gotta place them all down. Stepping on one button does a bunch does something to all the buttons around it. So the trick